brachial artery. So brachial artery is also called as deep artery of arm and this is an important source of blood supply for the arm region. So let me talk about its continuation. So we have already discussed it also that the continuation of axillary artery beyond the level of lower border of terrace major is called as brachial artery. So axillary artery continues below the level of teres major muscle as brachial artery. The other important point is where is the brachial artery ending? So at the level of, so exactly at the level of neck of radius at the level of neck of radius the brachial artery will divide into two terminal branches so it will divide into two terminal branches the two terminal branches are radial artery and that of ulnar artery now I would like to show you this image where you can appreciate that. So let me just enlarge this. Yeah. So here we can see this landmark that is the part of teres major muscle lower border where we can clearly appreciate that axillary artery is continuing to become the brachial artery. Now brachial artery is here you can see at the level of the neck of radius this bone is the radius bone. Here you can see here this is the radius bone which part neck and at this level it is dividing into two terminal branches one is the radial artery laterally and ulnar artery medially. Now I would also like to tell important branches so why it is important to know the important branches of brachial artery so that you can understand the topic of elbow anastomosis. So here the important branches of brachial artery is it also gives nutrient artery so please note down it is also giving nutrient artery to the humerus bone. If I want to be more specific, most of the time nutrient artery to the humerus bone is given by the branch of profunda brachii artery. Now what is profunda brachii artery? So it is one of the most important branch from brachial artery. It is uh, given posterolaterally from the brachial artery. The other branch is nutrient artery of humerus but most of the time the profunda brachii artery give this branch. Other than that we have got superior ulnar collateral artery inferior ulnar collateral artery which are branches of the brachial artery other than that we have got muscular branches which will give blood supply to the neighboring muscles and the two terminal branches that is radial and ulnar artery. I would also like to elaborate the branches of profunda brachii artery. So firstly let me write the branches of brachial artery and then you can see the branches of profunda brachii artery too. So write down branches of brachial artery. So when I am talking about the branches of brachial artery the important branches are profunda brachii artery okay profunda brachii artery it gives muscular branches it gives muscular branches actually to be more specific it is profunda brachii artery which is designated as the deep artery of arm okay so please note down so i have told brachial artery as a whole but if you want to be more specific which branch the answer is profunda brachii artery the branch of brachial artery is designated as deep artery of arm it is giving muscular branches it is also giving nutrient artery to the humerus bone at times it gives superior and inferior ulnar collateral arteries. It gives superior ulnar collateral artery and also give another branch that is inferior ulnar collateral arteries. It gives two terminal branches and the name of two terminal branches is radial artery and that of ulnar artery. So radial artery and ulnar artery is given at the level of neck of radius. Radial artery and ulnar artery will form the palm, palmar arches which is important for the source of blood supply to the palm. 
superior inferior ulnar collateral artery will take part in the formation of elbow anastomosis neutral artery muscular branches and profundus